Hello, everyone. It's me. Weird Matrix Man, it seems. Uh, I am here to show off a new feature that Valve has now introduced to Valve Index owners as a experimental, uh, in big bold letters, uh, feature for Steam VR. So before, uh, Oculus was kind of heading the front when it comes to room view. Uh, for the room view, what is it? Room, view? Room, view? room view, where it gave a lot of depth um, to their sort of pass through features, and Valve seems to be trying to do the similar thing. So here I have what is called the 3D view mode. It looks mega wonky on my system. I made sure that the camera uh, checks and everything were great. Um, Valve even advertises in the actual UI that's mega experimental, as you can see here. But uh, what are the main differences? Well, that's why I'm here for. I messed up my room as much as I can to show as much depth as you can, if you can actually believe that. You shouldn't believe that because, no, this is just, I'm, I'm a slob. Um, but let's go ahead and see what everything looks like in 2D. When you're looking at a flat image like this, even with the stereoscopic cameras, it just looks kind of poor. However, there is one benefit to the old 2D system compared to new 3D that you can probably see actually in the video uh, with the display VR view. So in 2D, you have a much wider FOV when you have the 2D on. And when you turn on the 3D pass through, you can see it kind of lowers the, the, uh, the FOV for this camera mode currently to try to give um, this sort of death effect. It is very, very wonky. I think it works worse on hands and maybe like light colored objects in general i'm not really sure but for stuff like this chair um it's probably very unnoticeable for people watching on a flat screen but stuff like my desk and chair does actually have a pretty good 3d uh stereoscopic effect where i can see death and how close things are again hard to see on the flat display but i thought it was a big enough feature to kind of show off in this video so thanks for watching